Do your clients often ask you what tools you're using for this, that, or something else? And when they do, do you give them an affiliate link to go sign up for it themselves? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily set up a resources page on your WordPress website. Let's get started. So this is a look at the resources page on my website. And if you go to thekimsutton.com, you'll find it. And you can see here that it's tried and trusted tools for small businesses. Now I do want you to take note that I do have, because it's required, uh, at least here in the States, I do have an affiliate disclaimer. You want to have this at the top, but, um, for, I just need to put it out there for a full, uh, all encompassing re, uh, walkthrough video on how to set up an affiliate relationships. Pat Flynn has a great course. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to go dive into everything that he teaches, but, uh, you want to make sure to leave this affiliate link, um, disclaimer at the top. So I've broken each section down on my site. And I found that it works really well for breaking up the different sections and making it really clear for my site visitors. But I do want to let you know that each of these links here is a redirection link. And you might be able to see in the lower left-hand corner, like for harvest, it's sending you to thekimsutton.com forward slash harvest. This is actually forwarding them to my affiliate link but it's making it really easy for them. It's making it really easy for me because, for example, I might be on my podcast talking about whatever tool it is I use, and chances are I've already set up a redirection link for that tool. So rather than having to remember that it's uh, whatever domain manages the affiliate account forward slash a whole bunch of random characters, for Harvest, for example, all I have to remember is that short link. And the plugin that I use for that short link is, it's called Redirection by John Godley. And I'll put a link down below in the description where you can go get it. And no, by the way, that is not an affiliate link, but I will make sure that you can easily get it. It's a free WordPress plugin and it works really simple. All I need to do is go to tools. After the plugin is installed, go down to redirection and click on add new. So let's just say, and I'm going to pretend that I wanted to send a, uh, I wanted to easily refer people over to my husband's website. Okay. Cause I know I don't have this one set up yet. If I just typed in forward slash fuse breaker, because that's, that's his, the name of his company into the source URL. So you want to have the forward slash and then this is your short link. I'm also going to type in the target URL where it's going. So it's going to fusebreaker.com. Okay. That's the redirect. So now if I want to tell, I know that's an easy link. This is a super silly example, but if I wanted to say, Hey, head on over to my husband's site, you can get there by going to the Kim forward slash fuse breaker. That makes it really simple. I also use this for books a lot. Like you can see down below in my list, I have, uh, let me see the four agreements, for example. I know it's a great book. I've heard plenty about it. I honestly can't remember if I've read it, but I don't want to have to remember an Amazon affiliate link. So I tell them, I tell people to go to thekimsutton.com forward slash for agreements. That makes it so simple. And now people can just click on that link. Da 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 da. They go. Now, I also on my site, I have a read with me page. So along with all of the tools that I use in my business. I have a list of all the books I'm reading or have read in the past couple years, and that's on the read with me page. So I use those short links, those redirect links as uh, easy links and use those to forward to the Amazon affiliate links. And the same goes on my read with me page. I have the disclaimer, the FTC disclaimer, letting people know that if they click on any of the links below that they might, you know, that I could earn money if they make a purchase through that link. However, going back to my resources page, 
I want to say one thing that's really important, and that is I will not promote a product that I have not personally used, period. I want to know, like, and trust any of the tools that I promo on my website, on my podcast, on my YouTube channel. I won't take sponsorships for anything that I don't know, like, and trust. And if I haven't used it, it's out of the question altogether. When people want me to promote their social media scheduling tool, I, to be honest, will flat out tell them no because I already have a tool that I love. And I want you, my community, to know that you can trust whatever I promote. I love that the people that I follow, Stu McLaren, James Woodmore, Pat Flynn, you know, they won't promote products that they don't know, like, and trust. And that lets me know that when they recommend something, I can have full faith that, you know, barring extreme circumstances, it's probably going to work well for me. And I want you to have that same comfort in any of the systems that I promote. So that's, that's what's included on my page. I want you to consider that for yourself as well. Include only tools that you know, like, trust, and have used. So going down here, that's what it, what's included. This is really working well for me for a couple of reasons. Now, Number one, I send clients to this page or I grab the links off of this page and give it to clients. And then when they want to start using a system that I use, it makes it really simple. I earn affiliate commission. Sometimes that's recurring affiliate commission. When I'm talking about systems on my podcast, I can use these same links. When I'm talking about them on, the, on YouTube, I can use the same or when people are simply coming to my website and browsing around and they see the resources page, they, they can wind up here. So I have, oh, let's see if I can get here. This, my, um, my menu button is sort of hiding right now, but if they go to the resources, they'll see three different options. They see the tools, the tools I use, they see read with me and they see my products and freebies. The products and freebies are my my um, lead magnets, you know, my free resources that I've personally created to help you, my community member, out. So if you haven't gone there before, just come on over here. It's here. It's free for you. Uh, as I've already mentioned, the Read with Kim page, I'm just going to show you how I have that one set up. Again, affiliate links. So if anybody's interested in a book that I'm talking about, and I talk about the books that I'm reading constantly, they can just come here. They can click the link. They can go order their copy and I get a small affiliate commission in the process. And then there's also the tools I use page and people are really curious. I know I'm really curious. Like when I get emails sent to me from, from big guru gurus out there, I will often scroll to the bottom to see what systems they're using. Or when I see somebody saying, Oh, the, the, best new system I found to do whatever the activity is, I want to know about it. And if they talk about it, if they show a video about it, explaining how and why it's working for them. Yeah. I hope they're using an affiliate link because I want to sign up for them through them. I would love to hear how this video has helped you. I want you to share an example of your resources page if you already have one set up or if you set one up in the future. So make sure to leave a comment down below showing me that that link or telling me that link. And again, let me know how this video has helped you because that is always my intention. Until the next time, I want you to go forth. Oh, actually pause that for a second. If you're looking for other suggestions like these, I want to invite you to join the Work Smarter Not Harder Challenge, which you can sign up for by typing WSNH down below if you're on Facebook, or you can also check down below on whatever platform you're on, and I have the direct link down below, but it's WorkSmarterNotHarderChallenge.com, and I share lots of other hacks like this. I want you to be able to work smarter, not harder, and that involves being able to make a recurring affiliate commission by setting up pages like the resources page, like the read with me page. But there's 29 other days of content in that challenge. So make sure to sign up today. Again, you can sign up for the work smarter, not harder challenge at work smarter, not harder challenge.com. I will be back on Friday with a feel good funnel Friday video, but until then go forth and make it a positive and a productive day. 